Hey guys, so I figure I'm going to try uh, character creation for Mongoose Traveler 2nd Edition. I kind of read the rules on the fly, so we'll see if it works. Um, and uh, here we go. I prepared the dice cam for character creation. Let's see how this works. So you first need to assign a name. I'm going to call this guy... There we go. Let's call him Javier Al Medina. Uh, so he's a human. Solomani from, you know, because I'm drawing on the earthly naming conventions. Um, and we'll give this uh, non national name, I guess. You know, it's, it's the future. Everybody comes from. Uh, the, the old nationalities of Earth uh, mean nothing now. So, okay, let's roll uh, all six characteristics. There are modifiers assigned to those. And it says you can roll them and then assign the numbers. So I guess I'll just roll them up and we'll see what we'll get. And if we need to reassign something, we can do that. So we'll start with a nine. Um... We have a seven. We have a five. Oh, we have a three, which is awful. We have a seven. And we have an eleven. So it's not bad at all all but yes i will reassign those numbers immediately so the first thing i'm going to do is uh let me take these numbers down because i will forget in a couple of minutes because i'm tired and it's late nine seven five three seven eleven okay so i'm going to start with that eleven here in endurance uh and I'm going to put that 3 in social. And uh, let's see. I got my 11. I got a 3 in social. I got a 9, 7, 7, and a 5. So where do I put that 5? Hmm. I think it's going to be a little below strength. So I'm going to put the 5 here. I'm going to put the... 7 on intellect and the 9 on education. And so, okay, let's look at the modifiers. That 5, uh, let's, let's double check those numbers. It's a 9, there's a 7, there's another 7, there is a 5, a 3, and an 11. Okay, cool. So the 5 is a negative 1 modifier. The 7 is a 0. The 11 is a plus 1. The 7 is a 0, the 9 is a plus 1, which is excellent. And the 3 social is minus 1 DM. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm thinking that this guy is some sort of belter, right? Some sort of asteroid. Somebody who grew up in low gravity uh, environments, and this explains the low strength. Um, but yet it's a smart kid and he has had a very good basic education so now the next thing we can choose is our background skills and we can get those hmm. we get the dm plus three so that is a four education skills at level zero hmm okay so Let's take a look at these skills uh, real quick. Uh, so I think I'm going to give him some... Maybe electronics... Uh, zero 
and um, profession. Joe, do I give him a profession as a zero level skill? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, does survival make sense for? Well, he doesn't have to be a belter. He could be a low gravity world, and th th that should give him a little bit of survival. Maybe it is a low gravity world, and it is, you know, it is a small moon, um, or an Earth like planet. It just has lower gravity. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, science? Uh, don't know what science does, but, uh, I did give him electronics, which speaks to his education. Hmm. Maybe administration, maybe he... Why would he have administration? Maybe he's familiar with the uh, bureaucracy of the... of the world. Maybe his parents are some sort of government uh, people. Maybe there's an embassy or, or something, and that's how he knows that. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, should I give him language? Uh, I got him some survival. Uh, hmm. Do I give him a profession? You know what? Let's give him science. Let's say he has a really good high school education. And this is why he knows about electronics and science and some of administration, but also that administration is because his parents are you know, involved in some sort of government function. And he also has a bit of survival from, uh, from, um, living in this low gravity earth like world. Okay. So now we have our background skills and then we go to pre career education. So, uh, Javier's uh, parents, um, you know, are high up and they probably want their very smart kid. Is he very smart? Hang on. He's very educated. Uh, he's sort of average intellect. He just has the excellent education of this uh, planet. Now, they want him to go to college, but Javier doesn't want to go to college. He wants to go to the Naval Academy. So let's see how we do to join a military academy. Uh, this is the pre-career thing. On my booklet is page 15. Mm. So let's see. I think he wants to join the Navy, and he needs an intelligence 9-plus role. Eesh, it's going to be a little bit tough, but we'll see how we do. So it's intelligence, and his intelligence is just 7, so... Oh, well. Maybe I should have put that 9 in intelligence, but what's done is done. So... Uh, let's see if we can get a 9 plus here. Come on, come on. No, snake eyes. No military academy for you. Um, so, if, uh, let's see, if we fail that, then we go to choose a career. So, you know, uh, he's still going to try and get in the Navy. If not through a Naval Academy, then he's going to just try uh, his luck. Uh, to join the Stellar Navy. Qualifications is Intelligence 6+. plus. So, let's see how this goes. That is a 4, so he does not get in there. Now, since he does not get in, uh, he still interested in just joining so he will take the draft you know he runs away from home and just takes the draft and he signs on to the merchant marines close but no cigar let's see 
Merchant Marines. Now, members of a commercial enterprise, merchants may crew the ships of the huge trading corporations, uh, or they may work for independent free traders who carry chance cargoes and passengers between worlds. Uh, and he's drafted, so I understand that if you get drafted, you don't have to roll anything else, right? You just... You go for the draft. Hmm. I wonder. Since the draft and drifter are exceptions to the rule... You can either apply to the draft or be randomly sent to military services. You can only enter the draft once. And I don't believe there is a qualification, right? To just grab you. Because you're volunteering for this. I wonder if I still have to qualify for the draft. Page 18. It doesn't really say. Um, oh, oh, wait. In the in the quick sheet, in this thing, right here, it says roll for draft. Okay, so I guess I do have to qualify. Huh? But then, then does that mean roll for draft? Does it mean roll on the draft table? I think it does. I think you just get chosen into because it makes no sense, right? Uh, let's assume he goes in. I'm not going to roll. Uh, it says, if this is the first term, go through the basic training. Uh, so basic training is the service skill list for Merchant Marine. Um, basic skills are drive. Uh, zero. Vac suit, zero. Broker, zero. Steward, zero. Electronics, uh, I already have it. Let's see if when you take it as part of the draft, does it increase your basic stat or no? I get the feeling that you do not. only you get them at level zero hmm. okay so you know at some point it says that you if you roll for a skill then you can increase by one if it doesn't have a level listed next to it but um i'm going to assume that if i already have it then i just have it uh electronics and Persuade would be the last one. So, you know, it's it's not bad. I like the start. Okay, so, having rolled that, then you roll for survival. Uh, and I am level zero. I am a crewman of the Merchant Marine. And, uh, because that's the only one you can get drafted into. Free trader and broker are different. You, 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 you can't be drafted into that. So, I am a crewman, and I will roll my survival check. Uh, survivor, survival. For mer Merchant Marine, survival is an edu 5-plus roll. Uh, which, in my case, given my education, I get a plus 1. So, let's see if we survive. Uh, this is a four, Jesus, and plus one is five, so I do survive. So no rolling on the table. So uh, then we roll to for an event. Hmm. Okay. So let's see what the event will be for Javier. It would be a four. Gain any one of these skills reflecting your time spent dealing with suppliers and spacers. Profession one. Electronics, one. Engineer, one. Animals, one. Or science, one. Hmm. Those aren't bad. Profession, one. I wonder what profession does. Uh, and what profession choices do I have? Let's look at that skill quickly here. 
Uh, there's Belter, uh, Civil Engineering, Construction, Hydroponics, Polymers. Hmm. That is interesting. Hmm. He could get a profession as one of those. Uh, doesn't seem right to get like belter or something like that. You know what? Let's pick up engineer one. That's super useful. I like the sound of that. So, you know, since they've been uh, training, uh, dealing with spacers and on the ship, he's learned, you know, to tinker with the ship and, and keep it um, operational. So... Let's see. Uh, after that, we roll for event, and then roll for advancement. Um, so advancement is in int 7 plus. Again, I have a plus 1, so I need to roll a 6 or better. And he gets a 2, so he does not advance. He would continue as a... Um, just as a level zero, rank zero crewman. And does he serve a second term here, or is this not enough? Um, let's see. I could start a new term. And I think I want to try to change over to free trader. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Oh, wait. Can I roll for the advanced education if I take a second term? Hmm. I guess I can. Um, because I could change assignment as well. But that would be considered a new career. But I would have to qualify again or enter the draft once more. I don't think I can enter the draft twice. I believe it said that you only do the draft once and then after that you just have to go uh, drifter. Yes, once in your lifetime. Ooh, so it is a it is a risk to switch to free trader let's see if i stay merchant marine pilot vac suit athletics mechanic engineering and electronics so you know i already have those at basic so i would be i don't have pilot though i do have vac suit i don't have athletics i don't have mechanic Hmm. You know, so maybe it is worth a chance staying once more. Um, let's see. Advanced education. I could get advanced education, but that's engineer, astrogation, electronics, pilot, administration, and advocate. I think it would be more useful to learn about the ship itself. So I will start a new term in the same career. All right. So uh, I start Merchant Marine, a second term. Uh, let's see. So given that this, you know, I don't, I don't have to qualify again because I'm still in the career. I haven't left it. So now I can choose a skill table and roll. So I will roll for that Merchant Marine training. And I get a four, which is mechanic. Okay, cool. So I'm learning about the ship. And now, wait, do I get it at zero the first time if I don't have it? I think I get it at zero, right? Because it doesn't say start it at one. I think when you get it for the first time, it just goes to zero, and then the second time it increases. Okay, so let's let's put it at zero. 
uh, maybe Antoine can double check this math for me. And so, uh, let's see. Uh, I roll for survival now. And let's see, our survival is now education 5 plus, so I need to roll a 4. Yes, and I survive. And so now I roll to event, and that is a 12. So your business and ship thrives. You are automatically promoted. So I make senior crewman, yes, and now my mechanic goes to 1. Um... And I need to remember that there are two uh, connections there uh, on those events, right? Both events merit connections, and I do believe you can pick extra skills. So I will figure that out later because I need to reread that rule. Uh, let's see. So, uh, commission is possible? No. Roll for advancement? I don't think you can roll advancement twice. If I got it for free then I do not roll. Let me double check that. Uh, ranks and bonuses, you move up. Uh, each time you succeed, you move up to the next. You're automatically promoted. Hmm. Okay, some events can, uh, grant automatic advancement. You can apply those to commission rolls. If you get a commission, you may not roll for advancement on the same term. Hmm, but that is commission. Can I roll for advancement? It is mandatory. Uh... Oh, and when you advance, you move to the next round and, and gain an extra roll on any of the skill and training tables for this career. You also gain any bonuses listed for your new rank. Okay, you may only advance once per turn. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so what are my benefits? I got the uh, mechanic one, and then I get an extra roll. Gain an extra roll on any of the skills and also the bonuses. Ooh, on any of the skills and tables. Okay, so I could roll either Merchant Marine again or Advanced Education. Now, I don't have Pilot yet. I do have Mechanics now. I kind of want Athletics or Pilot. So I will roll on the Merchant Marine table once more. And I get a three, and I get athletics. Excellent. So now I have athletics. Okay, so choose to continue character. Of course, I will continue character creation. So I have done two terms, um, meaning that he is now 26. So third term, I'm going to... Should I stay or should I go now? Hmm. If I stay, there will be trouble. And yet, if I leave, there will be trouble. Uh, there's no weaponry. I don't feel like shifting to a free trader. Uh, I think I'm going to risk it one final time. Hmm. Let's see. How bad would it be to try for Navy? It's in six. But it's a DM minus one for every previous career. So I'm, it would be an eight plus roll. Hmm. So you know what? I'm going to give it a third term. And then he's going to shoot for the stars and go for his dream. And if he doesn't do it, then he just... Ghost Drifter, I think, is what's going to happen. So, uh, let's go for a third term in the Merchant Marine. I don't need to qualify, I'm already in. And so I choose a table, and I'm going to choose that Merchant Marine table once more. I need a one 
Or wait, do I want to do that? Do I want to try engineers on the table? Electronics is on the table. Uh, mechanic is not. Pilot is administration and advocate. Do I want to improve my administration? Now, I'm going to try merchant marine once more. And here we go. And it is a six. And so my electronics improves to one. Cool. All right. So now we roll for survival once more. Come on, man. Come on. And I survive once more. And uh, roll for an event. And it is a five. And this would be my third connection. It is a five. You have a chance to risk your fortune on a possibly lucrative deal. You may gamble a number of benefit rolls and roll gambler eight or broker eight. Jeez, I don't have either gambler or broker do i i do not i do have broker but it's an eight uh if you succeed you gain half as many benefit rolls as you risked if you fail you lose everything mm. do i have to it says you may gamble so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna gamble one I'm going to gamble one and see what happens. And I need to roll a broker 8 plus. So come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby. Ah, I lose one benefit roll. Okay. It happens. It happens. But whatever you use goes up by one. Gain one level in whichever skill you used. So I use broker. So now I am broker one. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so that was the event. And so now we need to roll for advancement. And advancement is an int 7 plus roll. Uh, what's my int modifier is 0, so I need a 7 on the dice. Yes, 7 on the dice. I now make it to 4th rank officer. 4th. Uh, officer which does not give me any direct benefits but it does give me an extra roll so again do i roll on my merchant marine or do i roll on advanced education hmm oh i could get astrogation if i roll it too but you know what i'm a committed merchant marine and with that five, I increase my engineering to two. Wow, so I'm a decent engineer. Um, okay, so choose whether to continue Traveler Creation. Yes, I will go for that fourth term, which means that he reaches age 34 at the conclusion of the next turn. Now, what he is going to do is he's going to leave the career so when you leave the career you gain material benefits from the career representing money there are two tables for this in each career cash and benefits you may only roll on cash tables a maximum of three times oh okay 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 so now i gambled one benefit so i only have two benefits from this career so i probably Oh, when if you reach if you reach rank two, you get an extra benefit roll. Okay, so I have three, I have three uh, benefit rolls, um, despite my my ill-advised gamble. Um, and so let's see. I okay, so there's either some cash in there. Uh, wait, why is there a D? Um, why is there a seven here? Oh, because you can you can get a DM on this roll, which I do not have, so I can roll for up to six. Um, ooh. You know what? I think I'm not going to pick any money, and I'm just going to... Oh, wait, I do have three rolls. So you know what? Let's take those three rolls one at a time and see how this works. 
Uh, I'm going to start with a benefit. And a roll a four, which is a gun. Yes. I pick up a gun. Uh, let's roll again on that benefit table, because, you know, might get some ship shares or something. I get another gun. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Do I go for some cold, hard cash? Or do I see if I can roll a 5 and a 6 and get a free trader out of this deal? I hope I don't get a third gun. You know what? We'll save the money for whatever careers next. Let's let's go for broke, man. Jesus, three guns. Okay. 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 Whatever. I'm I'm chuck full of guns. I can't shoot because I don't have the skill. But I did get, you know, I do get three of the event rolls, so they connect to other travelers, so I think you can pick a skill. Uh, I will have to double-check that. Let's see. Uh, okay, so now that I'm out, I will apply for the Space Navy. Because i that's my dream, serving in the Navy. And so... Uh, qualification role is an int 6 plus, but I have served one previous career. It doesn't say term, it says career. So I'm going to assume that that means that I need to roll a 7 plus. Because if it were per term, then that would be different. But I'm, I'm going to try a 7 plus. Come on. Oh, jeez. I might reject it again. Okay, so since I have been rejected by the Navy, I have no choice but to become a drifter. So, drifter. So I wonder, hitchhiker travels through the stars without obvious purpose of di or direction. So, let's see. Do I become a wanderer or a scavenger? Hmm, I could work on a salvage crew. I kind of like that. Salvage crew. Or scavenger. Yep, that's it. I think I'm going for a scavenger. Now, uh, I don't have to qualify because I'm in it. Uh, I'm in it. Uh, uh, and then I get a single service skill that I will roll for, because this is my basic training now, and I, 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 you get, you only get to roll, not everything, okay, so I get a six, which is survival, which is not bad, now, I already have survival, so it doesn't mean that I just get it at level zero, Citizens and drifters are an exception to this. They both use their appropriate assignment skill table for basic training. Huh. But basic training is it's only the first thing, isn't it? Huh. So can I just roll in the scavenger instead of rolling in the uh, basic skills? Service skills? Uh, let's take a look right quick. Okay, it doesn't say, if this is your first turn, go through basic training. Otherwise, choose a table and roll. So I'm going to roll for that table for scavenger. If I keep that roll, that is gun combat in the scavenger uh, rule. So I like that. I'm going to keep it. Well, it's going to be gun combat. I learned to shoot while being a scavenger. Now, I'm rank zero, and then we roll for survival. That is a nine, so I survive. Uh, survival is an endurance seven plus, uh, so a nine just beats that comfortably. Um, actually, it's a dex seven plus, but it's, and the nine still beats that. Yep. 
uh, what else? What else? Uh, okay, so I rolled survival, and then I roll for event. And I get a five on the event table. You manage to scavenge something of use. Gain DM plus one to any one benefit roll. Excellent. So I get a plus one to my benefit roll here. So that should come in handy because I need some money. Um, let's see. So that was my event. Then I roll for advancement, which in this case is endurance seven plus. Uh, I have a plus one to my endurance roll. Well, that, that seems really low. Is it a plus one or is it a plus two? Because it's an 11. Oh, it is a plus one. Oh, that's that's harsh. Uh, so, hey, it, it's good. It's good. Seven plus, and I got a plus one. Yes, so I do advance, and I get a rank one on uh, my scavenger path. So that means that I get a survival one skill. Survival goes up, and I get an additional roll on the table uh, because I leveled up, right? So I will roll again on scavenger table, and it is a six, and it is gun combat again. Oh, this is excellent. This is excellent. Now, I am aware that once I hit the ones here, I have to specify, but I will do that off camera once I really familiarize myself with the rules. And so, that was my advancement. Then I choose whether to continue. But now, if I get to 34 or older, I will should start to roll for aging. So I am not going to do that. I will roll for benefits and... Uh, we shall see what that entails. So, um, I need to roll my one benefit. And uh, I get a plus one on that DM. So, come on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it for some cash because I'm completely broke. And sure enough, good thing that I had that uh, plus one DM because that only gives me a 1,000 credit uh, benefit. If had I rolled on the benefits table, I would have gotten ally. But, you know, I'll take those $1,000. I'm, you know, I'm broke now, and, you know, I'm tired of the scavenger life, and I'm ready to... I don't like the screw, really. So I think I'm going to look for fortune elsewhere. Now... I sent Antoine a table describing from the Traveler Companion. There is a way to just handle the connections part. And it says, Instead of making connections to other travelers, the referee should provide a list of characters, organization, or places in his campaign suitable for connections. Huh. Uh, so I guess this just gives me three skills that I need to discuss with Antoine. Actually, that would be four skills because I did take four terms uh, and skill packages. Instead of picking a skill package, gain any one skill at level one. And so... Let's just look at the skill packages here. Let's let's look at the generic traveler skill package uh, and see what I could take because everything is at level one. Uh, let's see. Uh, electronics I already have. Deception is probably useful. Medic one is probably useful. Gunner one or pilot one. Ooh, that's a tough one, because everybody wants to be the pilot, right? Um, and yet, operating the ship's uh, guns is also useful. So I could go for Gunner 1. You know what? We'll get ourselves a pilot if we don't have one. I'll go for Gunner 1. Oops, I think this is a glitch here. 
There we go. Oops. Yeah. Seems to be glitched. So I will put gunner one and then just add a specialty at some point. I'll, I'll figure that out later. And so I'm missing three skills from the connections. And again, the way that, I, that they solve that is you gain any one skill at level one. So this, you gain at least three more skills at level one. Uh, wow. So this is awesome. I have a lot of details to figure out. Uh, but I think this was a good start into character creation. And I hope Antoine sees this soon. Um, I like the uh, pre-gen character that I made for the previous session. But this this guy, this guy looks great. Uh, and again, I just love these... Uh, Whatchamacallit, these life path type uh, characters. Uh, excellent. So that's it, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.